an IFC step physical file. The text format defined by ISO 10303 Part 21, the most widely used IFC format, having the advantage of compact size yet readable text. Other formats are IFC XML, IFC ZIP, and IFC OWL. STEP stands for Standard for the Exchange of Product Model Data. It is the informal name for ISO 10303. Its official title is Automation Systems and Integration, Product Data Representation and Exchange. When you open an IFC STEP file in a text editor, this is an example of what you will see. Opening the same data in an XML file will look a bit like this. The data in these files is the same. It is just structured with a different syntax. A STEP file is typically smaller, but XML is better known with modern programmers. As you notice, in a STEP file, every line has a line number. Each line typically consists of a single object record. The line number is called a STEP identifier or a STEP ID. For example, this line describes an IFC wall standard case. According to the definition, an IFC wall standard case defines a wall with certain constraints for the provision of parameters and with certain constraints for the geometric representation. It has some text behind it and some references to other line numbers. Line 153 is a local placement. 217 is a product definition shape. The product definition shape on line 217 has references to placement and shape representation and so on. It is important to understand that the IFC structure is a network and not a tree structure. Following the references will, sooner or later, lead you to the original object where you started. There are also objects with references to the wall standard case. In this file, there are 10 references to line number 224. But what does all this data mean? Is this piece of text a name, a classification, or a definition? It is unknown what the data behind the objects means without the schema. You have to dive into the IFC schema definition to understand what all the data represents. This can become very complicated very fast, so we split it up in IFC schema basics and advanced.